Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mitlok with your host Nitin Nair. The last episode we talked about Kian Gong and Vietnamese mythology which is centered around Southeast Asia. Today we've decided to travel all the way around the world to North America where we will discuss gods of the Hopi tribe and Hopi mythology in the native American culture. Our character of focus today is Tawa, the sun god according to the Hopi people, and most Hopi creation stories are centered around him. He is the creator of the first world, and it is believed that he created it out of the endless space known as Tokpela. Hopi mythology also says that the current earth where we all live is the fourth world, which was created by Tawa. Legends told in the Orabi tongue also state that the third world was destroyed by Tawa in a great flood as the inhabitants started to live in ways that were contrary to his plans. The building of the new world was assisted by Kokyangwuti, whom we actually discussed in another podcast a few weeks ago. The whole concept of destroying worlds and actually building new ones is once again similar to what we see in other mythologies around the world, especially in Asian mythology and Indian mythology in particular. Uh, the 10 avatars of Vishnu, which were been described as the 10 life cycles or time cycles in Hindu mythology, always begins and ends with a natural calamity that tends to destroy the whole world. In the more modern Christian mythology as well, we've had Noah who had to build an ark to literally carry animals and species that he can use to rebuild the earth after a severe flood that destroyed the whole planet. In terms of physicality, Tawa is commonly depicted with a round headdress that resembles the sun. The headdress is usually made with high-quality eagle feathers to symbolize the strength and virility. A blue or different colored disc at the center of the mask is said to symbolize the face and the expression is usually of bliss or joy. We have known of these symbolisms from the people from modern times who actually practice and propagate the Hopi religion. The Native American tribes have a very rich history of actual dramatization through song and dance of you know representing the various stories within their culture and the representation of Tawa is always quite distinct from that of any other character and it is from these depictions and representations that we can easily figure out who Tawa was or what carvings or drawings from the ancient world actually symbolized Tawa because of the kind of headdress that he wore. When we look at his family or his lineage or his origins, there are two distinct stories of the sun and creator god that also has a direct effect on the creation stories of the Hopi. It is believed that he first created Sotuknang, whom he called his nephew and sent Sotuknang to create the nine universes. He also created Spider Woman or Kokyamuti, who was a messenger for the creators to his creations. In some Hopi creation myths, the spider woman would create all life, while in other versions, the hard being woman of the east and west did all the creation with Tawa as an observer. Tawa is also referred to as Taiowa or Tawa depending on the region which worships him. He was a supreme being in Hopi mythology and everything living and non-living in the fourth world was under his control. Being the most important god for the Hopis, he still exerts a considerable influence over the worship and traditions of the tribe. No ritual is complete without a tribute and an offering made to Tawa, and even today, Hopi mothers seek his blessings and that of the sun for their newborn children. So you can see how a Tawa and the Hopi culture is still very much focused on the creation myth and the popularity of the sun being one of the primary gods in their mythology. How the universe was created that has been debated on multiple times to various sections, even within the Hopi tribe, having their own versions of how Tawa ended up creating the universe. One thing that is common in all stories is that he had help 
and he was not the sole creator it could have been pokem booty or any other characters whom we discussed in this podcast who might have helped him set things up once again there are many common elements between the various mythologies in native american culture and you would find that the cherokee the apache uh, the navajo and the inuits have characters that are quite similar to tawa who play the role of the primal god or the creator god and in some cases also deputing as the sun god because the sun was the core element behind which the whole cosmology or the whole polytheistic nature of the culture depended on there are many more such amazing characters who are even still worshiped today in the form of the song and dance rituals of the native americans and uh, have a very important role to play in keeping the culture alive we will be exploring a lot more in the days to come and also not only hopi mythology but also mythologies from other cultures in the native american system thank you very much for tuning in this is your host nitin naya signing off by reminding you once again that mythlog is the home of mythology Thank you.